Classical Conversation, Cycle 1, Week 2, Science, 5th Edition. For this lesson, you will need your Van Cleve 201 experiment. It's number 54, telegraph lines, 54, telegraph lines. For this experiment, you will need string and a helper. So I have a helper. Helper. <laughs> Thank you, son. Okay, so we're going to tie this string from the edge of my table to the edge of this chair. In your classroom, it recommends that you use a table and a doorknob, but two chairs are okay, or our, we're going to use our table. All right, so Weston, I want you to tie this around the chair, please. Tie it in a knot, okay? Get it good and tight. Does it matter how much I use? Mm-mm. Just tie a good knot there. There you go. And squeeze it good and tight. Okay, tie it again. One more time. Make a knot out of that. You're a great helper. Okay, now, it has to be, it needs to be pretty taut so that there's tension in this wire, okay? So I'm going to pull it really taut and, um, so it will have good tension. I'm going to pause the video while I do that and while I tie it. Okay, we're back. We have our line. We have good tension in it. Okay, Weston, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to place my hand on the string. Mm -hmm. And I want you to turn your back to me. And I'm going to close my eyes. And I want you to do some... I want you to pluck on the string. And um, while I'm looking away from you, okay? And then I'm going to tell you if you're doing it harder or softer, okay? Okay. okay. Soft. Hard. Soft, really soft. Okay, now let's switch. Okay, you turn your back and close your eyes and put your hand, just lay your hand on there, okay? And you tell me if it's a hard pluck or a gentle. Hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Soft. Hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the purpose is to determine how a spider evaluates the size of an intruder. So if it's something really, really small, then the vibration on the web would be very small and the spider would know it's not worth my time to go. But if it's a big vibration, then it knows, hey, there's something there that's some uh, has some weight to it and might be a good snack. So it it will determine whether it goes to evaluate the what's on the string based on the vibrations on this. This is all that this one is. It it does have in the um, in the Y. It has an explanation of different vibrations and. That's all. Number 54, Telegraph Line, Cycle 1, Week 2, Science. Thank you, Helper. This is Classical Conversations, 5th edition, Cycle 1, Week 2, Science. This is experiment number 56, Belly Up. For this experiment, you will need your Van Cleve 201 experiments. Again, it's number 56, Belly Up. The materials that you need for this are tap water, a plastic sandwich bag that zips, a straw, and a large bowl. So I have here a plastic Ziploc bag, drinking straw, and I have a large bowl of water. I'm going to move my book so you can see my water. I went ahead and pre-filled another bag. So that I could do this quicker. So I already took a Ziploc, filled it in with some water. Uh, from experimenting, I realized that the less water you put in here, it seems to float on the surface better. So I would recommend less water and more air. So I've gone ahead and done that. And now we're just going to drop it in and see what happens. And you can see that it turned over with the air pocket up. And that's what we wanted to. The results say that the bag should float on top of the water, air filled side up. And that's what happened. 
All right. The why that this happened is because inside the fish and their intestines are microorganisms that continue to break down the food even after the fish dies. And as the food is broken down, this gas fills up in their intestines. And because it's on the belly, on the bottom part of the fish, it floats up because that gas pocket is trapped in there, even though the fish is already dead. So this is number 56 um, in your band cleave, week two, cycle one science, number 56.